There's arts as curriculum, there's arts enhanced curriculum, and there's arts integrated curriculum. And what we're talking about today is arts integrated. You are probably familiar with all of them, even if you're not familiar with those terms. So arts as curriculum is when you have art class and you go to art class once a week, or you go to dance class once a week, or you go to drama class, or you go to a music class. It's a dedicated class where that teacher is a dedicated teacher of the arts. Most of our schools can't afford that right now, right? So we know that's not happening. The next is the arts enhanced. So arts enhanced is like, I'm calling you out a little bit, but when you go and find cute craft on Pinterest, and there's no real rigor to it, it's just super fun, and the kids get to do it, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's a place for that, right? I personally love that kind of stuff, right? So arts integration is a little bit different, and it's where you're bringing the rigor into it, okay? So my example I like to use is, I taught middle school art for a long time, and a language arts teacher came to me and said, hey, we're reading The Raven right now. I would really, really love it if you would have all the students in art class make a raven and we could hang it up in my classroom. And I said, but there are also Gothic artists. And what if we studied both of those and instead of copying a raven, the students made a Gothic piece of artwork inspired by the raven. And